Treasures from the Oz Museum in Wamego, Kansas with historian John Fricke. Welcome back. Did you know that Oz author L. Frank Baum had many careers, actor, playwright, storekeeper, newspaper man, and traveling salesman among them before he began writing books for children? He was then 40. And while Mother Goose in Prose was admired, it was Father Goose, his book, Nonsense Rhymes for Kids, that became a bestseller in 1899. Illustrator W. W. Denslow shared credit for that success, and a year later, he and Baum produced their greatest achievement. This was the best-selling juvenile book of 1900, and everyone watching here already knows what its triumph would come to mean. The publisher of the book printed upwards of 35,000 copies of that first edition before they declared bankruptcy in 1902. Then the next publisher changed the cover design and dropped eight of Denslow's color plates. So the glorious first edition of The Wonderful Wizard of Oz was only briefly available and children read it to pieces. Complete good copies are now rare and very valuable. Well, the Oz Museum has two of them and what treasures they are. You can read more about the Oz first edition later this month in the written blog. And thanks for watching. <laughs>